today's World Insight. Big push for a diverse Macau economy with the blessings of the Chinese central government. The word and how businesses are doing on top of the booming gaming industry. Witness Macau in Transition, a World Insight special. The Macau skyline remains the same, but the Macau to be is underway. On 20th anniversary of Macau's return to China, let me take you around the city. Explore Macau's diversified economy, from financial services to tourism and entrepreneurship. See up close Macau's aspiration, cultural diversity, rising infrastructures, and its vibrant younger generation. Macau in transition, only on World Insight. Hello and welcome to Macau in Transition, a special program of World Insight for the 20th anniversary of Macau's return to China. I'm Tian Wei in Macau. Macau's new chief executive was sworn in on Friday. At the ceremony, Chinese President Xi Jinping spelled out the updated principle of one country, two systems, which applies to both Hong Kong and Macau's special administrative regions. Hong Kong, Australia. After Hong Kong and Macau returned to the motherland, the governance of the two special administrative regions became entirely China's internal affairs. We don't need meddling by any external forces. The Chinese government and the Chinese people's will is rock solid in safeguarding national sovereignty, security, and development interests. We will by no means allow any external forces to meddle with Hong Kong and Macau's affairs. The Chinese president also clearly put in words the central government's hope for the Macau SDAR administration. Macau should combine its own situation with our national strategies, seize the opportunities of the Belt and Road Initiative, as well as the Greater Bay Area construction, so that it can give full play to its strengths and become more competitive. On how Macau is going to implement some of the most important hopes coming from the central government, I'm joined here in the studio by Professor Jin Chen, who's the dean of the Faculty of Business Administration and also chair professor of accounting and finance from the University of Macau. What a pleasure, Professor Chen, to see you once again in our studio here. Indeed. One of the things I want to ask you to begin with is the diversification of the economy. The Chinese president already said very clearly this is the most important job of the special administrative region this time, but how? Um, Macau has the most uh, advanced and successful gaming industry. Um, President Xi rightly pointed that we should leverage the strength of the uh, already very successful gaming industry and also diversified uh, economy. Mm. So that means we should not put all eggs in one basket. Um, so. A very related area is the integrated tourism development, uh, especially to make uh, Macau as a major holiday destination. So this is going to combine a lot of things. You're going to have the shopping, you're going to have um, you know, hotels, of course gaming industry, but also at the same time entertainment as well. So a lot of things combined, isn't it? Exactly, and also that set up uh, a lot of high standard for the development of the related industry. For example, retail industry, event management. Um, event management has attracted a lot of attention recently, and it has been booming in Macau. Mm. Yes, indeed. As you said, on top of the agenda is the diversification of Macau's economy. So how can it be transformed from a gaming dominated industry to one with more players? What has the business community done so far in response to the idea. On that, we went to find a real case study. So we are sitting here in a beautiful gondola in the middle of a huge shopping mall with tourists passing by. Talking about the diversification of Macau's economy, this is a great example. 
Earlier, it only focused on gaming industry, but now there are many different businesses operating at the same time. Hotels, entertainment, meanwhile there's shopping as well as catering businesses. Wow, wow, wow! Wow, wow! A great moment to enjoy, particularly with my great friend, Massimo. A Chinese song? I can sing with you. The shopping area is only one of the sectors of the huge integrated resort. After a fun boat ride, I met the man behind it, Dr. Wilfred Wang, who is the president of Sense China. He tells me exactly how an integrated resort works and what it means for a more diversified economy in Macau. Diversification of the economy here in Macau, very much discussed. I wonder from a business perspective, how is that likely to happen timetable? I think we are already starting to diversify the economy uh, from uh, uh, really uh, gaming focus uh, since the return of Macau to uh, uh, Chinese mainland, uh, we have started the diversification. Mm -hmm. the, uh, um, the gaming operations have now turned into integrated resort operations. Mm -hmm. And if you look at uh, the, uh, our operations, only about 4% of our construction area is for gaming. Mm -hmm. The rest are diversified economy. Like but what about revenue? Revenue-wise, gaming is still dominating, uh, but that's going to continue for a while. But we are also trying to support the SMEs. Uh, in our procurement policy, we try to support Macau's SMEs. But you know, Dr. Wang, gaming industry is so easy to earn money. Right. That's just everybody knows, right? right. But when it comes to diversification, there's so much challenge. I mean, do you think people would take the difficult road rather than the easy road? Well, you have to because it's a, it's a concession. So there's only a limited number of operators who has the, the right to operate gaming. The, the other people, they have to work on diversification. Government also gives us the policy that we have to participate mm -hmm. in the diversification as a condition for granting the concession. Mm -hmm. So uh, even though it's hard, but we can make it easier by investing more in the hardware and the software. Mm -hmm. I think we, uh, we have seen tremendous progress made in diversification in the last 20 years. Mm. Interesting. What do you think about the timetable? I mean, when you do this transition, of course it's good to have a plan. What about the timetable? How do you think the circumstances around Macau changes? What does that mean to you? The limitation of Macau is the, the space. Yes. And, and uh, most of us, for example, uh, we have run out of space. What is welcoming is the development of the Greater Bay Area, like Hung Chin. Uh, so if we can improve the border crossing and other facilities, it would be possible for us to build like hotels in Hung Chin area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is part of the overall package that Macau can look at uh, in future. Also. Uh, the Chinese government has given uh, the, the, the sea area to Macau, 85 kilometers. Uh, so if there's con concrete plan, uh, Macau government can reclaim the land and provide more space for development. Mm. But, you know, on the other hand, there are a lot of policies that need to be in place in order to make all these uh, factors work, right? To you as a business person here, what do you think is the biggest priority if the government is thinking about what to do next? I think the government uh, really has to make better use of whatever is here already and that is we are now becoming a world tourism center and therefore we have first-class hotels, uh, the whole 
uh, Macau now has 40,000 hotel rooms. So if we have more rooms, and our occupancy is very high. Mm -hmm. The whole of Macau is I over 90%. Noticed. I have noticed. <laughs> right? Yes, indeed. And, uh, and so we need more hotel rooms. Uh, we, we did a study of uh, Las Vegas uh, uh, compared to Macau, and uh, the number of rooms that we have now uh, matches Las Vegas in the 1980s. So there's a still a long way to go. So we hope that this uh, you know, improvement in hotel offerings, uh, the convention facilities, uh, closer cooperation with uh, Hang Ching uh, for major attractions yeah. like uh, uh, a gaming park, you know, the, 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 the uh, leisure parks and all these things uh, can help. Mm. On the other hand, you talk about the Greater Bay Area. It's a wonderful blueprint. But how to make sure the blueprint is necessarily going to be implemented in every sector? That's going to be a challenge. Systems are different. Mm -hmm. uh, rule of law in terms of the way to do it is different. The ways people's mindset different. Educational level different. Many differences if you just look at the three places mm -hmm. only. But how to make sure it's going to happen from a business perspective once again? That's also uh, the attraction. Because I know, it, it it's both sides, but, but you know, as a result of that, there must be challenges for you guys. How, what do you think might be the best way to do it? Well, we have to look at the complementarity of, of this uh, whole Greater Bay development. Every, uh, every place, every city has to look at its own strength. Mm -hmm. Macau, sh still we have to make use of its connection with Europe, with Portuguese-speaking countries. Uh, we also want to make use of its attraction as a tourism center. Yes. Uh, and can we not help the whole Greater Bay Area improve the standard of their services? Because right now Macau has already got very high service standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I'm thinking that we could, uh, for example, help in the training of service personnel in, uh, in the Greater Bay Area. And these are all complementarities. Mm. Mm. Looking at the future, there are circumstances changes in the Greater Bay Area. You, you earlier worked in Hong Kong and now you work mainly in Macau. What do you make of the uncertainties and the certainties that people can grasp? I think one certainty is that Macau is going to continue to develop. And uh, e economically, uh, Macau is going to prosper uh, with the support of the Chinese government. Mm. Uh, uh, also, uh, Macau is, has got many other areas like e-commerce, uh, smart city initiative, which the government is now uh, trying to introduce. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's also going to uh, help in the Greater Bay Area uh, as a, for Macau to be a hub of economic activities. Dr. Wang, what a pleasure to see you. Thank you. That's Wilfred Wong, the president of Sans China. I want to come back to our studio discussion with Professor Jin Chen from the University of Macau. Of course, integrated resorts seem to be already in shape, but that is how fast will the practice spread around in Macau? Another thing is the featured finance that Macau is aspiring to develop. In that area, you are the expert, uh, Professor Chen. Tell me more about some of the most important aspects of featured finance. Uh, featured finance uh, is a very new and important concept uh, in the finance, in the academic area, actually. Um, in terms of Macau, the most three important elements of featured finance uh, includes um, wealth management, um, financial leasing, and renminbi as a settlement instrument. Uh -huh. But which part do you think will be the most urgent part and also connected to leverage the best of Macau so far? Uh, I think all of them are very important. Uh, if you ask me, it's difficult to rank. Uh, wealth, finance, wealth management is the most needed one in Macau because the relatively uh, rich society, relatively high GDP 
per capita. Mm. Um, that is really important to put the money in a very good use. Mm. Um, in addition to that, uh, Renminbi's uh, clearing, se clearing system and uh, settlement means is also very important because that link Macau with all Portuguese speaking countries. Right. But there's one thing I want to ask you really it's important that Macau is aspiring to develop future finance as you just said but how is it likely to you know see the other situations in Hong Kong and in Shenzhen so how is Macau going to be able to shape the features of its most important finance industry? Um, the three areas I just mentioned are quite distinctive for Macau. It's a clearly complement to what has uh, already been well developed yeah. uh, Hong Kong uh, financial market and uh, also Shenzhen um, financial market. Mm. That really reflects the strength of Macau's economy and also really uh, reflects the Macau as a, a platform for China and the cultural cultural speaking countries. Mm. Also, the Chinese president, uh, Professor Chen, if you listen closely, what he said in the speech about Macau's future is one about Hung Chin. Now, for our viewers who do not know what Hung Chin is or where Hung Chin is, that seems to be an area assigned by the central government. It was early a part of uh, Zhuhai and now can be used by Macau, leased to Macau, and to use that land to develop real estate, to develop businesses, to develop innovation, to develop education. So how is Hong Xin likely to be a good article in the words of the Chinese president? What do you think from the local community? Um, since uh, this February, uh, government uh, set up a clear development plan uh, for Hong Chin and Macau. Uh, since then, both Hong Chin government and the Macau government mm -hmm. adjust their development strategies. Hong Chin has put forward uh, a lot of uh, policies regarding how to improve its environment, investment environment in particular, mm -hmm. to attract more Macau uh, people investing in Hong, Hong Chin. And the Macau side, the uh, government uh, realized the limitation in terms of uh, size of technology yeah. development in Macau, in terms of limited land. Uh, they also tried to set up uh, a lot of policies to promote joint projects in science and technology, in Chinese medicine and in tourism. But you know, uh, Macau was not necessarily known for the development of science and technology, but it seems that this is a new component that the central government and the ICSR government want to work on. How would you understand that? Um, I take um, the financial development in Macau, for example, that is uh, uh, very much the focus uh, of diversification of Macau's economy. Yeah. Um, what really happened is that um, in uh, Hang Chin part, they have uh, set up a lot of joint uh, research laboratories, uh, particularly with uh, universities uh, in Macau, mm. like uh, universities, uh, uh, university all universities in Macau, in particular University uh, of Macau, we also develop a center uh, in Hong Chin area. That actually leveraged the strength of technology um, uh, advancement mm. and in, uh, in China already, right. in mainland China already, and put forward the team together to create some synergy. More importantly is to explore how to apply the IT technologies into financial industry. To create some concrete financial products. There are some, there are some very specific uh, so-called uh, innovation that is need to be done in Hong Chin, right? Yes. That's the idea. That, that is actually uh, interpret what do we mean by financial innovations and also, financial, uh, and also collaboration, industry collaborations, is to bring, uh, uh, bridge the gap between the uh, technology and finance right. industry. Well, Hong Chin is there, also an illustration of a Greater Bay Area, you know, how to interact among the different cities and different vantages of the localities among those in the Greater Bay Area. But Greater Bay Area was created in order to promote Belt and Road Initiative as well. Now, uh, Macau is well known as one connecting China and the Portuguese speaking countries, particularly in the blueprint of Belt and Road. I mean, in that regard, where is Macau going to use its strengths and its leverage? One of the important role of Macau is being a platform to promote trade and the investment uh, between China and the Portuguese 
speaking country. In that perspective, Macau plays a very important bridging role. I see. Through the trade investment activities, Macau can help um, the mainland Chinese firm going abroad uh, to uh, engage more uh, collaborations with Portuguese-speaking countries. Vice All right. Versa. Okay.